Hi everyone! In this video, we are going to cover how to mirror meshes in Outfit Studio. This is helpful if you want to move something from one side of the body to the other, or if you want to duplicate a mesh to have a copy on both sides. Here is what we will cover today. Mirroring meshes is actually very easy in Outfit Studio, but there are a few tips and tricks that you need to know in order to make this work successfully. To mirror a mesh, you simply right-click on it, select Mirror, and then choose which axis you want to mirror across. Remember that in Outfit Studio, the axes are as follows. You can mirror on the X-axis, which is side to side, the Y-axis, which is front and back, or the Z-axis, which is up and down. Most often, you'll probably be mirroring on the X-axis because that's the left and right sides of the body. But you should be aware of the other options just in case you find a place and a time to use them. Let's demonstrate moving a mesh to the other side of the body using our old standby, the Archmage robes. We've separated out the pouches from the robe several times, and the last time, in video 19, we made them into a standalone item. What if we decided that we really wanted these pouches to be on the left side of the body and not the right? This is super easy to do. Right click on the pouches mesh, select mirror and X axis, and voila! The only trick to this is that you have to redo weight painting. Remember that these pouches will still be attached to the bones on the right side of the body, even though we have physically moved it to the left. You can fix the weight painting in several ways, but for now, let's just copy bone weights from the robe onto the moved pouches. Right-click on the robes, just be sure you pick the correct mesh here, and set reference. Next, right-click on the pouches and select Copy Bone Weights. The default values should work fine, so click OK. Then check on the Bones tab to make sure the pouches are now only weighted to either central bones or the left side version. Confirm that the weight painting looks good by using the Pose function in Outfit Studio and always, always, always check it in the game to be sure. For this step, we're going to use our Shorts Mesh again. If you've been following along, bring in the shorts mesh from the last video, the one that we cleaned up by moving vertices around. At the moment, they only have this leg band thingy on one side, but we're going to use that as the bottom hem for each leg on these shorts, so we need to duplicate and mirror it to get a copy on the other side. Again, this is super easy. In our case, the leg band is already a separate mesh, if the mesh you want to mirror is not already separate in your outfit, then you will need to do that first. Refer to video number 19 if you need help with that. To duplicate a mesh, just right-click on it and select Duplicate. You'll have to enter a new name because Outfit Studio does not allow you to have two meshes with the same name. This is fine. Let's just call ours Leg Band 2 because I'm too lazy to remember left versus right. And now, as easy as that, you can see that we have two leg bands. Now let's mirror one of them to the other side. And this really doesn't matter, but I always mirror the duplicated one instead of the original. So I right-click on leg band two, select mirror, and the x-axis since we're going to the other side of the body. Poof, done, almost. Never ever forget that this just moves the mesh. It does not change the bone weights. So if we go into the game like this, you will still have the leg band on just the original side, because even though there actually are two leg bands in this NIF, both of them are weighted to the left leg, and so that's where they will both show up in the game. But don't worry, Outfit Studio has a really neat trick to make mirroring bone weights super easy. Let's do that now. If you have duplicated and mirrored a mesh to the other side, we can use the Symmetrize Vertices function in Outfit Studio to copy mirrored bone weights to the other side. 
I showed this briefly in the weight painting tips video, but let's do it together here. First, we need to clear the bones from the new mirrored mesh. Select the mesh, go to the bones tab, select all the bones in the list using shift click, then right click and choose delete and from selected shapes. Next, we need to make sure that the mirror bones we want to add are already in the project, meaning they are already listed here in the bones tab. For our shorts, we are good to go since we already have all the right and left leg bones listed. But if you only have a right or a left version of a bone that was used in the original mesh, then you'll need to add the other side to this list. Right click, select add, then from skeleton, unless you are working with custom bones, which is out of scope for this video. Click through the list to find the bone you want, select it, and click OK. Third, we have to merge the new mirrored mesh with its original twin. Right click on it, select Merge Geometry. In the pop-up window, remember that the drop-down on the left should list your new mirrored mesh, and the one on the right should list the original twin. Change those if needed, and then click OK. As always, when merging meshes, make good notes here so you can do exactly the same thing for the other size of the outfit, unless you are only making one NIF for a body slide project. And the final step is to use the Symmetrize function. Right-click on the now merged single mesh, select Symmetrize Vertices, and then tick the little box for the bones. In our example, we have three bones to mirror. There are other options in this menu here that we will talk about later, but for now, we are just copying the bone weights. Click Symmetrize at the bottom, and then check in the Bones tab to make sure that the weights seem logical. And that's all there is to it. Confirm that the weighting works well by checking the Pose function, and, as always, by testing it in the game. For the last example, let's say that I have an earring which is made of two parts, a metal part and a gem part. Obviously, I have to mirror them both or else my earrings won't match. This is just as easy as doing a single mesh. You can select all the meshes that you want to mirror and then right click, mirror, and choose the axis, which I'm going to use X for left and right sides of the body. For an earring, you don't even have to redo bone weights because they should all be weighted to the head anyway. Unless you're working with physics, in which case you'll have different custom bones for the left and right side. Sometimes something weird might happen when mirroring both meshes simultaneously. If this happens, just mirror the parts separately. They should still end up in the same place. You can save yourself a lot of time and hassle by knowing how to mirror meshes. There are lots of useful things that you can do with this function, so don't be afraid to get creative. One tip about way painting a mirrored mesh, if you just want to move something from one side of the body to the other and not have a copy on both sides, you can make the weight painting easier by going through the duplicate and mirroring step first, and then use the symmetrize function to copy the mirrored bone weights. Then you would just delete the vertices for the side that you don't want. This may be a better option than recopying from the body itself, especially if the original mesh had some custom weighting that you'd like to make sure gets copied to the other side. Using the mirrored meshes approach is great for anything which has a symmetrical twin on both sides of the body. For making smaller edits, the mirror edits toggle works very well. But if I'm making big changes, I will often just delete one side like the right glove, right shoe, or a right earring, for example, and then only focus on fixing one copy for the left side of the body. Then when it's all done, I will weight paint the single copy, duplicate and mirror it, merge the meshes together, and transfer the mirrored weights. For me personally, I find this easier than having both sides around for the entire editing process, especially if I need to resize 
or rotate or otherwise perform functions that do not necessarily mirror well. Another great use of duplicating and mirroring is making an asymmetrical outfit into a symmetrical one. I have this weird peeve about outfits that don't match on both sides, especially when it comes to pants with just one leg or shirts with just one sleeve. So you can duplicate and mirror that mesh, reweight the new side, and end up with a much more sensible outfit to wear in the snowy lands of Skyrim. One last tip is another super specific example but still worth noting because it's so easy. If you ever want to turn a right hand ring into a left hand ring, or make it as a separate record in the plugin so that you can wear both at the same time, then just mirror the mesh on the X axis, reweight it to the left hand, and export as a new NIF. And voila! Happy pretty fingers! Once you know the tricks, duplicating and mirroring meshes is super easy. Just don't forget to always redo the weight painting. This is not optional when you're moving something around on the body. I'm sure you will find all kinds of useful things to do with the mirroring functionality. So get busy swapping. In our next video, we're going to talk more about moving things around on the body. But this time, it won't be as easy as just mirroring them. In the meantime, keep having fun with your outfits, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!